Yeah, 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 don't encourage it. Do not encourage it. Right. I promise I'll keep this short and sweet so we can all enjoy the festivities and watch Pete bust a move on the dance floor. <laughs> As many of you know, my relationship with Pete is unique because not many people can say that their best friend was marrying their sister. So in a way, I feel like I am standing up here to praise the both of you. But I'll try to keep it just a Pete. <laughs> Pete and I met during our freshman year of college. At first, I'd say we were definitely two different personalities. But as time progressed, I'm the me being a sports junkie and Pete being obsessed with video games and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and we realized we were actually very much the same. After both of us decided we were not too much into the on-campus lifestyle at Wentworth, the two of us moved to an off-campus apartment in Roxbury with a motley crew of scholars. That's when Kara arrived on the scene. At this point, she was a senior in high school and would make routine visits to our humble abode whenever we threw a party. This wasn't really odd to me due to the fact that her and I had always been best friends very close. But as time progressed and went on, I started noticing that when Kara would show up with a friend or two, they would always mysteriously end up sleeping in Pete's room. <laughs> now at this point, I honestly didn't know if he was just being nice because I knew he was a good kid or if there was an alternative motive and if so, was Josh going to have to be the big brother and lay the smack down? <laughs> so I decided to back off and do my best to stay out of it. After a few more weeks, it was actually Kara who said something to me and not Pete. As much as part of me wanted to be Bus Pete's chops, I can truly say that it was probably the first time in my life that I let my guard down and gave up playing the role of the Kara's protector and big brother and very much relieved and happy that my sister had chosen someone like Pete. Aww. Really, there's no need for this. <laughs> Over the next few years, the three of us lived together off and on, and it was during this period of time that Pete basically went from being my friend to becoming my brother. I honestly wish I could stand up here, tear Pete apart, embarrass him, or say something funny, but I can't. Although you still watch Saturday morning cartoons and enjoy playing with Play-Doh, <laughs> you have a heart of gold, and from a big brother standpoint, you are the kind of person that every brother-in-law would want joining their family and wedding their sister. Remember that this is your day, and everyone is here to celebrate the new Mr. and Mrs. Videello. <laughs> so at this point, I'd like everybody to raise their glasses for a good luck and congratulations to the newly married couple. <laughs> <laughs>